Okay, we're going to do a pre-trip inspection on our reefer. First thing we want to do is open up this compartment and turn off the power to the reefer, the switch here. These reefers are satellite activated as well, and we don't want any power coming through this. Next step is we want to get up on our catwalk and open up this compartment here. And um, the second door has a latch at the bottom there, so you just want to reach down there and get that latch and open it up. So basically this is an engine, right? So this is, uh, th these are the same things you'd look for in any engine. Uh, your oil, for example, you'd want to inspect the oil, make sure it's okay. Basically making sure all the fluids are okay, making sure there's no leaks uh, anywhere. And um, you also want to check other things too, like the, uh, the belts. Uh, make sure there's enough play on the belts. Uh, there's no fraying. Um, this is the reason why we turned off the reefer as well. We just don't want these things turning on when we're checking them. And checking to see if there's anything loose, you know, uh, the wires, nothing leaking out of the hoses. Um, especially coolant. If coolant's going to come leaking, it's going to be coming down right there on the, the bottom part there uh, from above. So if everything looks good in here, then we can just go ahead and close the doors and make sure they're properly secured. You gotta lock it right in there. And we can also go to the side compartments as well and take a look at the components there. So we open up the side compartment here. And again, we're looking for the same thing. Anything uh, loose or broken or just anything that looks out of place. Make sure the filter is okay. Make sure there's no leaks coming out of the hoses. And uh, just a general overview. Same things you would look for in any engine. And um, if everything looks good, then uh, we can just go ahead and close it up. Some of these uh, compartment doors have a little uh, pocket there where you can put paperwork. Okay, so some other things we want to look for, uh, just on a reefer trailer in general, would be um, the battery here. And um, if everything looks good there, then we can check some other important items, uh, such as these drain valves. We don't want these clogging up. Sometimes they can get clogged by just like pieces of wood inside from pallets um, or even ice, debris. We want to check there's another one here and the hoses, um, drain hoses. There's another one over here as well, one of these drain valves. So if everything looks good, the hoses look good, then we will begin with our pre-trip on our computer. So we want to turn the power back on now. And then we just press the on button. And that will turn on the reefer. And um, we want to let the, the reefer run. It takes just a few seconds to boot up here. And you'll see it also on this display as well. Um, before we do a pre-trip, uh, a computer pre-trip on the uh, on the reefer. We want to let the reefer run for at least five minutes, and um, and then we can begin the pre-trip. Pre-trip takes about ten minutes on the display here. So there's our temperature right now, and um, if we go to our menu button here, the the engine's just starting up here. Okay. So you can see that it's turned on and it's, and it's uh, white. If it were an amber color, you'd know there'd be a problem. And uh, so we just select menu here. And you can see the first one there is pre-trip. So we are going to select that. And then it's, it's going to run through a pre-trip inspection, checking the, the different modes. So defrost is one of the tests that it's going to check, the cool test, 
and it's running through these tests here. Again, this takes about 10 minutes, and you would have allowed your reefer to run five minutes before doing this pre trip test, the heat test, and um, the cool test. And with the sensors, you can actually go in there and into the sensor option and check all the different types of sensors and gauges as well. And the pre trip is passed. If there were any errors, it would show you an error code. And um, if there was an error, you can always contact uh, the shop and ask them if it's if it's okay. If if it's okay, you can clear the the code and continue on. So you just toggle through this plus and minus to get to the temperature you want, and then you click on oh, yes, and it's programming, and it will appear up on there uh, as soon as the reefer gets. To its temperature it'll show on that gauge. So now you're going to want to find out on your paperwork what the temperature has to be and if it has to be a cycle mode or a continuous mode which is this button right here it toggles through the continuous and the cycle on off mode and um, the top button here is uh, for defrost which the trailer might need defrosting ahead of time and continuous and cycle are just basically uh, Continuous meaning running all the time, and cycle meaning it turns on and off, more for your fuel efficiency. So by pressing this button right here, that toggles through the, the cycle or the continuous. And uh, again, you'd have to find out um, from the shipper or from dispatch which mode it's supposed to be in. Generally, it's always on and off, the on off cycle mode. And here's a uh, a list here of your sensors and your gauges and what they represent. Now on the back of the trailer uh, it's important that we uh, there's a chute on the ceiling there and it should be four to six inches hanging down from the ceiling uh, because basically air travels through it comes down on the floor and um, goes through the grooves on the floor which uh, it's able to go under the pallets and then come back around again in a sort of a, a cycle through the whole trailer which keeps everything cool the same temperature so it goes right to the back of the bulkhead there and it comes back up over the chute again and comes back down. So we want to check that and we also want to make sure the floor is clean. No uh, debris on there because it will clog the, um, the drain valves. And you want to check the seals around the door. Make sure uh, there's no uh, uh, broken seals. Same thing with your, um, your vent here. You want to check that as well. And uh, just an overview of the whole back of the trailer. Make sure it closed properly because we're trying to maintain a temperature. And so that was a pre-trip to check the functioning of a reefer.